Well, subways have long been known for substandard manners, but for how long have bad manners been a problem exactly? A new exhibit shed some light on that. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch takes us inside. Most New Yorkers are no strangers to the subway or the rude behavior that rides along with it. Eating bad, smelly food on the subway. People brush against you or invade your personal space. When I see somebody with like a rabbit or, you know, their entire dinner, um, it doesn't even shock me anymore. Believe it or not, such behavior is not just a sign of the times. It's been interesting to see that the same problems seem to just go on and on. Robert Del Bagno, manager of exhibitions at the New York Transit Museum, says their new exhibit in the annex at Grand Central Terminal with old transportation ads makes it obvious problems of the early 1900s are still problems today, and not just in the states, but around the world. Common bad behaviors include hogging space, many call it manspreading now, littering, and being downright loud. The only thing we've seemed to have gotten past is no smoking. And spitting doesn't seem to be as big a problem today as it was in the 40s. Take a look. We can't print words that fit people who spit. A theme that transcends time and culture, humor. Nobody likes to read a list of rules. They get you to stop and look at them and talk about them. Her personal favorite from Chicago. The guy with the, the train had all the garbage in it. <laughs> and I always yell at you, there's no maid coming today. Mine is from the 40s. Lady police. What stands out the most? Um, just the um, number of years that people have been trying to get people to behave properly, humanely on the subways around the world. Right, it's an eternal task. It never it. ends. That's never going to end. So we can expect more witty ads like these, reminding us of what is and isn't okay on the subway. From Grand Central Terminal, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. Those are some great ads. The exhibit is free and open to the public through early July.